All right, guys, we are back on Civilization V, and things are getting a little hairy. <laughs> um, so we've got our workers. We need to get them back. We got the barbarians over here. They're going to take them. So here's what I'm proposing. And then we got our settler. What in the world are we doing? We're idiots. Well, let's just take it. Let's just go for it. I'm actually going to stop them there, even though I can move more with them. I don't want to move this here which means we now have control of these guys and we'll move them back that way eventually I'm gonna move them here and then eventually like hide let's get a little bit of damage against them surprisingly enough when you damage them it reduces their strength a little bit so it actually affects them thank you Ooh, I like that the archers can hit first. So it just kind of proves a little bit of strategy in that process. Okay. So we might not be able, I, the strategy here is we're gonna build from here to in here somewhere. This might be as far as we can build is right here. So I might just build right here and let it be that. Let's go up there, no concerns up there. Let's go down here. Because those warriors were down there, I'm just a little bit extra concerned. I'm gonna go back there. You heal a little bit. You guys move there. Now they can't just move through warriors, especially if there's like fighting been happening. Um, unless you're like allies. So they would have to actually fight to be able to get to the workers. So I'm cutting them off essentially. Um, I don't want to fight right now. Perhaps another time then. Jeez, you guys are just like war happy. Hopefully they don't turn towards us. <gasps> no, stay away. All right, they forced my hand to do this a little bit early. I'm just going to settle down because once they settle down, they can't steal the guys. So we'll settle there. This will be our protector for now. And then finish them off. Now there's no threat. Can choose a, choose a production over here. Defense is always a good. I'm not going to build any wonders. That's a lot to build. And if you notice, all those are really high too. We just need to get some workers over here to make some more production. So when we build something in here, it creates what they call production, um, which just essentially means that everything you construct gets constructed a little bit faster. And when then you use the buildings that have already been established to create more workers to then go build up these new places, and you use them to build more settlers, and it's just a whole complicated but really fun process to have. And now I have new warriors to protect them. You guys might as well heal, because we're going to eventually need to build another settler. We're going to go crazy with this, guys. I'm going to try to get a second city in this episode. So we got one here to cut off the that. Um, they've already built a second city, so I need to build one here to cut them off. And then I need to build one out here to cut them off because they've already got a second city too. Now I recognize that my um, building roads is not helping my production value right now. I totally get that. Um, in fact, it's one of the shortcomings of my strategy, but I feel like this is necessary to be able to move my armies um, because they move a little bit faster, um, to move just a lot of different stuff. Um, if I decide I wanna build over here, I can move a settler super fast between places. So it becomes a huge focus for me later on, and if I take care of a little bit of it now, it helps. I'll build two more settlers, and then I'll probably just go crazy with the workers. 
And then working within this area, removing grass or building the roads, adds production value to that. It helps things just get built that much faster. Ooh, and our scouts are done. Good. So these scouts can go down here. Just go there for now. Oh no, those are warriors. We actually want you to go right here. All right. That's good. Not worried about that. Not worried about that. All right. 10% growth and two, per two plus food f for the capital or plus one goal and one unhappiness for every two citizens in the capital. I don't need unhappiness because I barely have any right now. So I think maybe it's time to um, work on some of these. I get more production for every um, city I have and I would eventually get a new settler and they would train faster. So let's go ahead and do this. Simply having this will increase culture and grant a free person near the capital too. And then this will be next. So I'm going to just do this because I could get this going to make workers go faster. And I'll want that eventually, but not right away. Again, it's about getting the cities established. It's kind of like a wall of cities, in essence. Because otherwise they have to declare war. And most of the time they don't like to declare war. At least initially. All right, this should be good. Eight more turns, we'll have a new settler. I'm thinking right here, if I can afford it. It leaves a little bit of space here and so I might end up buying some tiles. I'll show you what that means in a little bit. And I'll actually just probably have these soldiers walk with the settler when they come out. I'm not sure, oh. I'm going to stay there. I might have to bail this scout. I don't know. We'll see. Just the barbarians scare me. I can't wear my... I can't spread myself out too thin. You'll notice once we start getting more and more units... What are you doing? Are you really standing in our way on purpose? That's lame. I think they are. Oh no, they're working. Keep building the road. I'll just use these guys to transport the settler. There's no reason to take resources elsewhere. Well, we don't bully. That's not very nice. Three things are to be looked to in a build. Sweet. He who knows Classical others is wise. Era. He who knows himself. All right. So we're going to be working towards that currency model. So we need to have the mathematics to get the currency. And then we can start building some markets. So I think that'll be important. The camps will be nice to have as well, but the markets are fun to initially have. Ooh, and we can upgrade. Let's just upgrade now. We're gonna go to Composite Bowman, which just means they have more power, more health. Should be good. Five more turns. We shall see. They only have to go two more spaces, so that'll be good for that. And then that road will be complete. They can settle down. So I'm thinking here. Look how fast they're growing out that way. And it's not necessarily something, like, I didn't pick these parts for the this city to grow off. It's just where they naturally grew. 
Though you can buy the tiles, like I said. They hate it whenever you build close to them and then buy the tiles on top of that, so we very quickly could see them complaining. So don't be surprised if they do. Okay. Who's the woo? Let's look at um, some of these. So China. Okay. Well, we're not close to China right now. So we don't have to worry about as much. China's down here. And we've only met for the... We're number five out of 12, so we actually have not seen most of the country still. In fact, because we made it so big, we may actually never see some of the countries. They may actually get destroyed um, before we ever get there, which is interesting. All right, we got the warriors on the north side. Now, other people will be able to use our roads um, unless they have a uh, some kind of treaty with us. But if we buy these roads, then they're technically trespassing. And so that could start a war. All right. We're now officially in new territory again, our own territory. One more turn and we've got a new settler. <laughs> we are at 150 gold. I don't think we can still buy something yet. Alright, you guys just hang out. Let's look how that naturally grew right there. Settler can come down to here. Clearly that was a smart decision. <laughs> Let's just do that. Just in case. Um, I'm going to break what I said before. Because our gold is actually two down, so that means our maintenance is low. So I actually want to try and build some markets when they come to town, when that's available for us. Because that will increase our gold production a little bit. You do not ever want to get below that. You never want your happiness to get too low. Um, because with that, people can rebel, and you can owe too much money and go bankrupt, stuff like that. So it's just bad things that can happen. They were saying cities over here. Huh. Tell me to build there. Which is interesting. All right, they're all protected. Everything looks good. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, you are getting awfully close, mister. Fortunately, settlers are slow. You guys hang out. Why are you following my guys? Leave them alone. Cool. We are officially connected to the main place. So now we could trade. In fact, I think I may eventually make a caravan or two. Trading posts. Oh, those are where it's at. Alright, we're shooting for, let's say, right here. Yeah, let's just do that. We're just going to stick with them every single turn. Which means we're four moves away, we got a third city, and we'd be rocking it. Why are you following me? Stop it. Okay. What? 
two more now. Now I'm a little leery of spending too much gold. It's cheap in the beginning, um, but every time you buy a new towel, tile, it gets more and more expensive as you go along. Um, so I have to just be careful with that. How are we doing on culture? We actually may get new culture this episode too. Which will be good. I'll help with our settler production. Im Namen des großen Deutschen. Deutschen, Deutschen. All right. Well. Okay. Well, they're going to attack the barbarians, I guess. We're officially here, guys. We're official. Now, you cannot travel over mountains. Um, so these are kind of like natural barriers. You never want to get backed into them. So he cannot grow that far that way. Obviously, he can grow this way. He's already got three places. Man. All right. I'm officially spread out thin. Sure, why not? Give me more gold. That was them up there, the Germans. So we need to build up here. Mathematic. We need to build up here. We need to build down here. And then I'll feel more comfortable. I won't feel 100% comfortable, but more comfortable. Beautiful. Alright, so production. Man, I'm gonna go for a worker just because it's a long distance and they're, we're not gonna get a road put out that far. <sighs> so we can do a camp, we could do the currency. I wanna do the currency for now. That's what's gonna get us the gold. So it's going to hopefully spike some things. And let me talk about this tile system quick. So we got the ability to purchase stuff. Nope, we don't want that. Um, apparently we can only purchase one tile right now. Oh, that one's the most ideal one and it's cheaper out of all of them. So we'll buy that one. We're going to buy this one. Oh, let's just buy that one. So now he can't build here. Because this one's not buyable. Purchasable. I only have 59 left. So this is going to be my last purchase. But again, I'm intentionally going this way. So he's going to have to grow out and around if he wants to continue to do that. And I can't even build, I can't buy here because that takes us too far. I like that purchase though. Now, I'm curious, would you guys have done that? Do you guys buy tiles? What do you do with the gold when you get it? I couldn't help but notice you seem to be expanding towards me. I'm sorry. We'll stop until we don't stop. <sighs> now we need to make sure our armies are big. <laughs> oh man they build up their armies very fast they're not necessarily great at defending themselves but my experience with the AI is that they are great at offense where am I? I'm probably the lowest yep, I'm at zero Zero happiness. That's no bueno. <laughs> All right, worker. I need trappings to do that. We've got horses, so I can do that. Horses are good because you can get chariots and you need to have a, one tile to make one chariot. And they give output of production and food. So that's a needed thing. All right, so we can give more production. Um, we can improve tile construction rates by 25 for workers. Hmm. 
This gives us settler, more settlers. So I think I want to do this. Ah, to get a merchant, you would have to have Venice, which is one of the specialties. So mine has like the B-17 bombers and other benefits because I'm the American country. So if you're Venice, you get some of those benefits. Look at them grow. I probably need to purchase that eventually, just so that they can't grow into there. Man, they're just taking a beating, aren't they? Happiness will increase if I do that. It just costs gold. You know what? Let's keep up with the workers. Nope, let's do the warriors. Let's go ahead and do this. You can just hang out. Now he could invade my territory, but he would be declaring war to do that. I'm less worried about these guys taking them than the barbarians. The barbarians just like automatically declare war all the time. They don't care. All right. I think we're going to have to leave it this, guys. We'll be constructing some roads down to here. We, uh, all roads lead to Washington. Isn't that how the saying goes? We will be building out to here um, to make sure they don't grow this way. It looks like they're not, um, but just in case. We'll probably maybe like put it right here so all this is under us and then or maybe we'll do it here I don't know we'll figure it out and then need to eventually make sure that they cannot go this way which if we bought that tile would be 45 gold so it'll take some time thanks so much for watching guys I greatly appreciate it any tips and tricks please 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 let me know and I'll catch you guys next time see you later bye bye